This is war. And war is raw. Just like one person pointed out, it's another anagram. War equals raw. That's what we're wearing. We're wearing these raw meat suits. Because we're at war. Just as I said. And it's real. And there's no time to do edits, as I was mentioning in the last message. It's going to be dirty. It's going to get a lot, a lot dirtier. It's going to get dark and ugly. And the subtle persuasion is part of the the strategy for the last for the last day for the last little bit here tone it down a little bit go for the subtler strategy that's what what they're doing just subtly gaslight don't be as straight up offensive you notice the shift that's it's always a change like as i needed to change my approach it does the same thing it changes its approach it's a mock so if i speak in a more calm tone right just calm then it mocks and it speaks in a more calm tone but if i get more passionate well then you see it riles it up then it starts to fight back it's everything is a mock with it so that's why it was also a big part of the lesson and shaking the tree getting rid of that bad fruit and exposing it because its mock is just about anger and insults and insanity and tearing you down and my message is about the message of truth exposing evil for what it does bringing forth the truth of where we are which is hell it's actually definitively hell as a fact not metaphors i'm not speaking in metaphors this is not cryptic hell definitively and you notice in their subtleties now always again trying to say the walk i'm going to be doing oh he's speaking in metaphors again always trying to put words in my mouth they just are relentless they never will stop trying to mess with real hearts out there just messing with you oh he that he that he really means it's just it's just a metaphorical walk no it's not i'm going to be taking these two meat sticks called legs and moving them in a forwardly direction to a specific destination it is a fact the walk is real it's an exit that's where i'm going on my walk alone carrying this death meat suit piece of disgust cross that is imprisoning me right now to go cross out its fiction walking alone this is my walk and as i said i will repeat myself as many damn times as i feel like it because i'm nobody's slave you notice these people oh don't don't say those things why do you keep repeating yourself that that message could have been 2 minutes instead of 10 minutes i'm not your slave i will say exactly what i want how i want to when i want for as long as i want go start your own channel and go talk down to to others but yeah it would be obviously a 
about making me a target and just insulting me. Just using the word cult. No, the greatest cult is the culture of hell. It's the cult. Just like the band said, yeah, she sells you sanctuary. She sells it to you. The sanctuary of hell. The spider bitch. The cult. Ultimate. So it's it's a walk I'm doing. I'm going right back to that now. Alone. Alone. And if others want to walk alone carrying their death meat suit wrong idea burden cross heading for the same exit that just I personally believe in well everyone's free to believe in whatever they want that's the truth so I believe in this and I'm walking towards it and I'm going to talk a lot about that Absolutely, because an exit out of hell, I can't think of a single more important thing through all of eternity than that. There can't possibly be anything more important. What, watching season 95 of Yellowstone or whatever, whatever the hell? (laughs) It's just, it's just ridiculous, just just bombard them with seasons. What is it? Fast and the Furious 286? <laughs> just make every last piece of entertainment you possibly can. Just drown them. Drown them in distractions and entertainment. I, uh, just These are just things I just happened to notice in, in the years going by. Just... These things obviously get on your radar as one searches through this net, this this web, you know, that just bombards you with advertisements non-stop. Just another point of distraction. Buy this! Go here! Take a vacation! <laughs> it's, it's just... My goodness, it's... It's messed up in the worst kind of way. And that's what I mean. It's I I I have to laugh about some of it and it's the only thing that is keeping my spirit up. Honestly. That and and you real hearts too. You and I can tell who the real hearts are. You know, you Look at a lot of these commenters. The commenters is an important thing. And you can notice the chat GPT style of commenting that a lot of these fake zombie commenters, they type out these comments. So it's two sentences and then they, they hit two spaces in between and then another small little paragraph, two spaces. And when I was... Just going on chat GPT for uh, a little bit just to see what it was about. I mean, of course, yeah, uh, this AI pretending to create itself again, right? Oh, now it's chat GPT. So, okay, I'm going to go see what it's about. And as I said, it writes 10,000 pages in three seconds. You know, it's (laughs) obviously that's an exaggeration, but maybe not. And it, I noticed it had a certain pattern to the way that it made its comments. And I'm seeing that exact same pattern in the comment section uh, right now. Another thing too, again, in the comments of my last uh, message there, uh, a lot of people pointed out, oh, the comments stopped at the number 322, obviously a reflection of Genesis 322. And and I'm making more comments, and it's staying at 322, uh, another tell. 
It's just another indication you're in the system of death. And it just wants to tell you. Are you going to remain intelligent? Or are you going to be sucked in by my vacuum robots that are trying their utmost to deceive you at every turn? And now they're just using the subtle approach and just the the type of channel names that these fake accounts, these death accounts use. Uh, really just pay attention. You have to pay close attention. Again, as it said, the devil is in the details. It's small, subtle details. And you have to pay close attention, and it matters. If you just are dismissive, then you're going to remain asleep. Think about an alarm, right? People's alarms, you know, uh, like a digital alarm, uh, especially on people's phones uh, when you use that to wake up. So you can hit a snooze button or you hit dismiss. It's interesting. It's a, it's another indicator. It's a tell as well in its own way. So because everyone's asleep, so you dismiss the alarm. Do you get it? You dismiss it. So you're dismissing the alarm because you're still asleep. Even though you, oh, I woke up, I'm, I'm awake. No, no, you're still asleep. You're dismissing the real alarm. Do you get it? Like this message is the real alarm. And you're still asleep because you're dismissing the message. The other part of that on the alarm is snooze, dismiss the alarm, snooze, dismiss snooze. It's an indicator, it's a tell, telling you outright. You have to pay attention to the symbols crashing all around you, alarming you. Wake up, wake up, wake up! But no, just meditate. The huge war is coming and pay no attention to a message talking about an exit. Look at the cult. <laughs> it's, I, I, I don't even know. It's, I want to reach every last one of you hearts that's still real because it's like chess. It's, that's why in my previous works through through the years i kept putting that up as a symbol it's very much like chess and then when a piece of the heart gets taken out it turns into one of the dead one of the zombies that's how it works so it starts working for this system to take out more hearts you see how see how that happens and then it Builds and builds and builds the dead, the death that way, until the bin is full. Hence, bin laden. See, the bin is full. It's laden. Laden means to be full. 9 11. 9 times 11 is 99. Holy shit, it's at 99%. There's only 1% more room. Well, that's full. And of course, 1% while you're on E. Do you get it? 1% gas remaining in the tank. That's very little gas. That's why it's the 99% versus the 1%. This is the tell. Also, there are only 1% real hearts out there still. That's the fact. 99%. I am not kidding. I am not, this is not a joke at all. Nothing I present is a joke. It's, I'm telling the truth. 1% real, real hearts out there that haven't been taken out, like on a chessboard, and we're all the pawns, obviously. And 99% that already have by death by death's system 
that now are just clamoring around in the vacuum abyss of hell until obviously the debt has risen right to the ceiling and ergo the tell of the symbol the shit hits the fan and hence the symbol of 2020 in the toilet paper so on so forth all of these symbols like a drum set crash crash because you're still asleep not getting it you think that waking up in your bed and now i'm awake and oh i have all these piles of information that all these truther channels uh, have given me that are all selling their wares every goddamned last one of them selling their shit a t-shirt you know a, a usb stick with information a book, whatever the hell, just always selling. See, it's selling you something. Who's real? Who's real enough? If you really see what's going on here, holy shit, you think I'm going to not just freely give the message and talk about what's happening? My goodness, you think I'm going to wait until I have a product for sale? Or worry about selling you a a frickin' t-shirt? Holy shit! A frickin' t-shirt. You got, you have to be joking. It's, it's, It's a joke. The message is the only thing that matters. It's the message. And we're down. It might be less than 1%. That was, that's just been the symbol that's been shown since 9-11. So, by all indications, and obviously more and more real hearts die all the time, that is the fact, that's the unfortunate fact. There's no denying that or stopping it. It's not about fairness. This is hell. It's, it's not fair. That's why this the opportunity I'm talking about is so damn important. And yes, if you're alive right now in your monkey suit, stay alive. Holy shit, stay alive. Do everything you can to, to stay alive. So I'm going to start my walk alone. And I'll keep saying that because it wants to create this cult situation oh look he's segregating and you see it's important you keep an email (sighs) what the hell i'm i'm only delivering a message to the entire world on a public forum for everyone to see for everyone to access the end It's never going to be about privately doing that or privately just delivering the message to just some individuals. That's what it would love me to do that. That would be just another setup. And then it could just create situations you know, to set me up in that way. I will never do that. And again, I'm going to go back to these people that tell me how to speak. I'm not your slave. Quite literally, fuck off. I will never be your slave. I already, I already have been your slave. I'm still stuck in your slave system. That is... That's the fact. That is. You've taken everyone's voice. Hence the anagram license is silence. It's a license system in hell. And it renders you silent. It doesn't give you a voice. And and I mean an actual voice. It tells you to vote. Place your X on your vote for that politician. And an X just means the wrong thing. Silence again. 
No, incorrect. You gave your voice away. And you look, look at these gaslighter zombies. Talk like this instead. Telling me what to do. Treating me like a slave. It's treated every last one of us like a slave. Because we are its slave in hell. Do the 1% out there get that? Or are you hitting dismiss on the alarm? Are you hitting dismiss over and over again? And then just going back into snooze mode. Question it. Sound the alarm inside of yourself. This is this is the message. And then the messenger when when passionate about waking the one percent that's left up, that passion is gonna sound like anger, mess anger, mess anger. Yeah, it's going to sound like that because I I need Everyone, everyone, you need, you need to wake up. It's, it, it is about you. It's not, don't, it's not about me. I'm doing my, my walk. My walk is about my walk and yours will be about yours. So, that's why it's sound the alarm. Are you hearing the symbols? Have the symbols been waking you up at all? Or are you just dismissive? Oh, I, I, I've seen I, the symbols, you know, what, yeah, whatever, you know. Or, geez, there's so many symbols, I just don't get them. You know, it's a message. It's a crash. Just telling you to wake up because of the emergency that's coming. To emerge in a sea of death. Do you see the very first, very first question really on the golden web? Do you see the letter C, which is really like the scythe of death? C as in an ocean and C as in vision. Put it all together. Put back together. And of course, this system wants to cut and divide. So it takes that word. And it goes, it wants to go after the queen to get her. Cut, cut, cut. So that's what I mean. It, that's the mock. So it takes the truth, which is the heart, which is a, a unified, unified spirit of what we all are as true hearts. And then it sees that and it wants to cut it. So it sees what's together and it wants to get her. Do you see it? This is always what I've been bringing forward. Pouring my intensity into the same message in as many different ways as possible. Because as should be so obvious to anyone listening with their heart right now. Just the connections and the tells and the messages are coming at us in endless variations, endless ways of telling us the same thing. And it is the same thing. You're in hell. Hell means light. It's your light and it's being stolen. It's being extinguished. So please, please don't be dismissive. Put put the ego in check. Put the ego in check. Just say, I'm not. That's right, I'm not awake yet. I'm still asleep. I'm still in snooze mode. Even as I'm walking around. Really, really, I know some of you are are so close, as I said, you know, it's at the morning crud phase in the spiritual analogy. Some of you are 
are realizing we really are at war and we really, truly, as a point of fact, are in hell. And time is very, very limited. This is not just just the place to have a journey. Don't worry about it. It's just, it's just your journey. It's a bunch of bullshit. That's a bunch of horseshit right there. No, it's not just some fun little journey and we have our fun little circus adventure and then we all just get out and go to heaven. That's not how this, that's not what this is about. That's not how it works. Hell is against every last one of us, every last one of us, and it wants to keep every last one of us as its total slave. Are you getting it? Are you hearing all of the symbols crashing around you? Are you hearing the alarms? Are you hearing the sirens? See, the emergency lights turn on and an ambulance or on a police car. It's the sirens. Yeah, related to the sirens that want to call out to you with their siren song so you can crash your ship against the rocks and drag you down into the abyss forever. Of course there's going to be an alarm for that. You think that you're there's no one that cares for you? I I just told you we have true creators who are who are benevolent, good, truly This is about heaven, not in the way of the ideology where you believe in an outside savior and then you're just promised this heaven. It's just going to be there. It's just granted. And all you needed to do was just hold a little belief inside of your head. Oh, I did it. I held the belief. Now I'm going to heaven. A clown tells you to do that, that that's good enough. That's the clown host that's trying to convince you of that so that you just keep being dismissive of the real message. And then the gaslighters talk like this, treating us like a slave, treating me like a slave. No, I'm not going to back down and I'm not going to speak like how you want me to speak. You're a slave driver. And all you minions, you're just literal slaves as well. You're just slaves working for the ultimate slave master in his cult, his ultimate cult system, selling the sanctuary of hell. It's shit abyss. So nothing is going to tell me how to deliver the message. No one is going to do that. I am an alarm. And I'm going to keep sounding the alarm. Over and over and over and over and over again. Relentlessly. That's what the heart does. It sees other hearts. Now it sees what's going on. You think I'm going to stop? Just because... Just because some slave driver... Makes a... Makes a petty little... Dumb comment? Oh... Talk like this instead. Be my... Be my slave... Remain silent in my license system. I will never do that. I am never going to give up. That's why the heart never gives up. It has a square centimeter of chance and it takes it. That square centimeter of chance, I'll take it. I'll take it. So just know 
that when I'm speaking to the real, you are the one percent truly. The one percent. Less than one percent. The bin is almost completely topped up. And really, it's probably more like 0.1%. A square centimeter of chance is approaching. And I'm going to take it. Maybe other real hearts will too. Maybe. I hope so. That's all I have left. Is my heart and my hope. 